My name is Mika Stone. I'm a Niju intern. Uh, my internship was at the Cass Lake Wildlife and Fishery. Beginning her second year at White Earth Tribal College as a wildlife biology major, this was Mika's first experience in the field. Mostly I went out with Alyssa and Roby and we went out to do stand reviews. The team was working on a snowshoe hair research and management project that has been in progress for over three years. Uh, forest stand is kind of a predetermined little uh, section of the forest that, that we're going to be working in. Uh, just a collection of habitats or one habitat by itself sometimes. We'd mostly go around in the woods and record like certain areas within a stand. So we'll look at the coverage of the trees. We'll see signs of, well in the beginning it was signs of rabbit life. So we'd be looking for pellets, runs, and seeing if that would be a good area for them to live. Although they were studying and tracking the hair, the team always had time to stop and smell the wildflowers. Sometimes on our way, we would stop and look at plants and bugs and identify them, and then we'd pick some and come back to the office and press them, and so she could start a journal and book. She was really enthusiastic, motivated. She wanted to learn. Um, she seemed to really enjoy like her time outside. I mean, every day was exciting with Mika. <laughs> And she was always super enthusiastic. The team didn't just chase bunnies all summer. Mika worked in the office and the lab as well, watching trail cams, planning routes, and helping the biologists. I helped with the cormorants once in a while. It would be every Tuesday, basically. We would help. Um, that was involving dissecting the cormorants, opening up their stomach, and taking all the fish within their stomach and counting and sizing them. Mika also had the opportunity to gain some hands-on experience with live animals. We'd be doing duck banding. That was pretty fun. You, you chase them down and then you capture them. <laughs> and training to handle injured animals. Her and I had a nice connecting moment when we went um, and picked up an injured owl together. Um, she was really eager. She wanted to do as much as she could to help the animal and it was a good learning experience to have her there. And, um, it was just a good opportunity to see how much she cared about what she does. The Niju Guai Kochigewin program at BSU is for anyone who wants to appreciate and use Western science and indigenous knowledge to bring long-term sustainable changes in the world. I went into this with zero knowledge of plant life, animal life, anything. I think the most I knew about animals was their names and their Ojibwe names, and that was about it. <laughs> and everyone is welcome.